for today's video, I was planning on doing a first impression and sort of demo on a face mask that I found at HEB. It's one of those one-time use face masks and it was really inexpensive and I've never seen the brand so I just thought I'd pick it up and do a first impression and review on it and tell you if it's good and if it's worth going out to get or if it breaks me out. And I don't know if you can tell, but my skin isn't at its best right now. I am breaking out right here and a little bit around my nose and just my skin is not at its healthiest right now, so I need to do a mask anyway and I just thought I'd try this one out. So it's the 7th Heaven Cucumber Peel Off and it says Me Time right here and then it says um, Gently Peels Off Dirt and Grime. And that's what the packaging looks like. And it also says for all skin types. And then here is the back. It says, we discovered mountain energy, spring water, and created 7th Heaven Cucumber Peel Off. Peels off easily. 7th Heaven Wild Mountain Energy Spring Water. We're veggie herbalists, and we pulp the fruits, press the flowers and herbs, collect the mud and salts for your me time treat. Pulped cucumber, pressed flowers, and juiced lime is what is in this cucumber mask. We've pulped cucumbers and juiced citrus goodness to give your skin a blast of freshness and help remove dirt and grime. Gently peel off this face mask once a week to reveal a fresh and revived new you. We're vegetarian and animals are our friends. That's why we don't bash bunnies or add bits of animals. So the directions say cleanse, which I already did. My face is cleansed. And then it says apply and then relax for 15 to 25 minutes, then peel and then feel fab. This smells kind of like pine salt. It kind of smells like a wood cleaner. It's very citrusy. I don't smell the cucumber at all. It's green. I don't know if you can see that very well. And I'm just going to take this artist loft number 10 flat brush. This is a paintbrush technically, but I like to use this for my masks. So that's what it looks like. And I'm just going to apply this all over my skin. This is very, very cooling and it feels really refreshing already. I don't know if this is sold anywhere else because I did find this at HEB. So I don't know if it's sold other places. Ooh, don't get this too close to your eyes because the aroma does irritate my eyes a little bit. It does tingle just a little bit, but it's a good feeling. Kind of like if you've ever used any plumping lip glosses before, it kind of feels like that on your skin. I really like the way that this feels so far. As you build this up, it does tint your face a green color, which I like because then you can tell where you've applied it. You are supposed to cleanse, which I did, apply, which I just did, and then relax for 15 to 25 minutes, which I'm going to do now. I'm just going to go and I'll be right back in 25 minutes to peel off the mask and then feel fabulous. So that's all that you have to do. I'm going to go now and then I will be back when it's time to take off this mask. So I'll see you in 25 minutes. Bye. Hello, I am back and it's been exactly 30 minutes. I was supposed to wait 15 to 25 minutes. So I waited 30 minutes just because I was doing something, but this is what the mask looks like now. It's not tacky or sticky at all. There's a shine on it as you can tell and you can tell that it's ready to be peeled off because it looks dry right there and around my mouth it's really obvious so I'm gonna go ahead and peel this off and we can see how difficult it is to get this off so just gently 
peel it away from your skin. You can see that this is a little bit difficult to do. And it does hurt just a little bit. If you have a lot of hair on your face, it may hurt a little bit. It's just right here. I guess it's still a little bit wet there, but I waited for 30 minutes, so I don't know why it would still be wet. Yeah, it's still wet on my cheeks. In the same two spots on my cheeks, it's still wet. Okay, so that's what that looks like. And you can't see anything on the mask. You can't see if it, like, pulled anything out or anything. I'm just going to throw that away. And now I'm going to attempt to get the remainder of it off of my face. Okay, I think that I've gotten the mask removed entirely for the most part, and I have some pros and some cons, mainly pros though, so I guess I'll start with the cons. For a face peel, you want the entire peel to come off in one layer, and you want no residue to be left behind on your skin. You want to be able to put it on your skin, have it dry, peel it off, and be good to go for the rest of the day, but with this mask, it left a white outline around where the mask was placed and then also it didn't come off in one layer and I almost had to get water to get rid of the part that was stuck there. I almost had to go and get water so that I could remove that. So that was a little bit aggravating and also it did leave a, gr a green tint on my face so I still think that you would have to go in with warm water even if it does come off entirely the in one piece you would still have to rinse off your face with lukewarm water because it does leave a green tint on your skin i didn't dry completely in 30 minutes and that was five minutes over the suggested uh range in time if you have a fuzzy or like if you have some hair on your face the mask is going to get stuck in that, even if it dries, it's going to get balled up and stuck in any places where you do have some hair, like around your hairline right here, it did get stuck in my baby hairs and it hurt to try to get that out. But onto the good things, I feel like it evened my complexion a lot. My face is a lot less red. My skin looks very brightened. My skin feels really, really smooth and clean, so I like that, and I feel like the redness and the breakouts that I do have, like this pimple right here, this one right here, and then this forehead pimple, I feel like those are all reduced, the redness is reduced, and I feel like they are a little bit smaller. My skin feels energized, it feels smooth, I do feel like it got rid of uh, dirt, and I feel like it purified my skin. It only claims to gently peel dirt and grime, and I do think that it did that. It didn't irritate my skin at all. I don't feel like I'm going to get any more breakouts tomorrow. I feel like it helped my skin more than anything, and that it's going to reduce these breakouts because it already helps with that. If you see it in your local drugstore, I would recommend grabbing it. It is the 7th Heaven Cucumber Peel Off Mask. So yeah, that's all I have to say. I hope you enjoyed this first impressions and review on that mask. And I'll leave any updates at the end of this video just so that I don't leave you in the dark about how it performs throughout the week and after a little bit of time has passed, so I'll definitely do that for you. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you're having a fantastic time wherever you are and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!